here we have the starfish. External anatomy. This is the ab oral side. Here, you see the magic right. Sieve plate, which means the penis would be in this area right here. We can turn it over to the oral side. And the mouth would be right here. And the lack of bruise where the two feet are. So now we're going to look at the internal anatomy. So we'll cut off the arm right here. And then cut up the sides. Skin's very tough on the kind of derms. It's kind of their big thing. <laughs> So what I should be seeing here is pyloric cecum, and it's actually stuck to the top. Usually it sticks to the bottom. So you can see the pyloric cecum very well there. Mm -hmm. This middle section of the cecum would run up and it, it attaches to the stomach, which is in the central disc. And you can see there's basically a whole, this is the intestines, okay? It's just a whole bunch of little pouches where it's going to digest its food. And these are running in each of the arms. So we can kind of lift those up and out so you can see them a little better. So, you see them? See how all the little pouches are? Yeah. And if you look at the picture in the your packet, you see them even better. Of course, it's actually not a picture, it's just a, it's just a diagram. Now on this side of the arm, remember what I was saying about the latex? Yeah. So what you're looking at here are parts of the water vascular system, and these, this is the other side of the tube foot, basically. These little things are called ampulla. And then you can see this kind of moistness here it's not showing up real well. Um, not the rest of the intestines there. But the gonads, it's like a uh, glandular thing right here, kind of in the midst of all these ampulla. You can see it right, I can scrape some of it off right there next to the radial canal. That's the radial canal. Those are the gonads. That's where you're going to be making your eggs and sperm. Okay. If you're a starfish. <laughs> this radial canal is going to attach to a ring canal up here in the center. Now the stomach's going to be up here in the center. And I can cut up into the center disc. Oddly enough, Cutting into the central disc is usually a little bit easier than cutting the arms, usually. And once I cut through the central disc, we should be able to see the stomach in all its starfish glory. Now some people have asked, can these things see? Yes, they can kind of see. We're not talking Patrick from Spongebob here. They, uh, they actually have photoreceptors on the ends of their arms. Mm -hmm. So they can like see everything through their arms kind of? Yeah, they, but they can really only detect bright and dark. The last one was kind of a pain in the butt. It did not want to open up. Okay, you can see here part of the, the
there's pyloric cecum, the intestines from the various arms. As I pull this up, or attempt to pull it up. Oh, gonads, really defined there. See that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that just like pulled right out of there. That was kind of weird. And you can see where the ring canal is coming up here. Look at that. It's like more gonads. They're just pulling up very easily out of the, the arms. Does that mean it was harmed? Does that mean it was harmed? You mean like a mechanical trauma? Yeah. The fact that these are pulling up like that? Mm -hmm. No, it just means that I, the way I cut it, it just happened to uh. come out like that. Because I didn't, I didn't damage it that much when I cut it. Oh, look at this. This, is, this might actually work out really, really well. So you can see here the stomach, and you see the mouth right there. Mm -hmm. So the, that's literally the entrance to the stomach, and you can see how the stomach kind of has a little five-star shape too. Yeah. And then it runs into, now I squished this a little bit so it's not as nice looking as it had been, and then here you've got the various reproductive organs of the starfish and you can actually make out some of the nerves here as well. And there is a central ring in this area. It doesn't have a brain. It just has the central ring of nerves. So this here is all part of the stomach and if you look down a little bit further you can see some more of the stomach in there, right there. I don't know if you can really make it out. Do you see it down there? Yeah, I can This see. is the part that it can kind of push through here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can see here the, now I split that radial canal, kind of broke it up a little bit, but you can see here the ampulla, and these are going to help with, let me get it on the video. You can see the ampulla really well here, and these are going to work with the tube feet to control how much water is coming in and out through the tube feet, because they can act like little suction cups. So you can kind of think of them as like the bulb at the top of an eyedropper. Mm -hmm. And this here is the ring canal that all the radial canals attach to. And you notice how they're kind of segmented, and that's how it can bend. If these uh -huh. here weren't segmented, it wouldn't be able to bend. Mm -hmm. Kind of like our vertebrae. You know, if we just had one bone there, we'd, we'd just not be straight. Be, yeah. But because you have a whole bunch of little bones, it gives you that segmentation, allows you to, to bend more completely. All right. And that right there, do you see this mm -hmm. little tube-like thing that's yeah. yellow? That went up to the madreporite. Okay, the little sieve plate, the little pressure release so that if it needs to release a lot of water, there's too much water pressure in there, water would come out through there. So. Any questions? Mm, nope. Probably a better dissection than you guys would have done yourself. Way better. <laughs> but it's kind of interesting how full of uh, intestines each of those arms is. Yeah. Wait, yeah. um, so is, is, is there anything inside that would show that it was mechanically harmed, like, internally? Does it look like it? I mean, do they look like they, the intestines you know, are very full in there? If this had been crushed, it would have, like, maybe, came out. yeah, or do you, they would have been smushed in there, right? Mm -hmm. so. so it doesn't really look like this suffered mechanical harm beyond maybe the tip right here that was already busted. Mm -hmm. But they 
they heal pretty quick from things like that. That shouldn't kill thousands of them. Okay. So, what would probably have caused a whole bunch of them to wash up on shore? Chemical? Yeah, maybe a poison in the water. A pollution? Yeah. And how would you check for something like that? Uh, use a... I don't know, gel electrophysis? And you could, I mean, because that does separate out things mm -hmm. by, uh, by size, so if you're looking for a particular protein or something, you could. But you could also do uh, various tests, like, you know, you could do a biopsy, you could take some of the intestine and test it for various poisons. You could test the water. Mm -hmm. okay. So, and again, you see the gonad really well here. Okay. Okay.